A quick video about interaction pairs. Um, interaction pairs is a concept which is tricky at both key stage three, uh, four, and five. So I'd recommend anybody who's studying this um, to have a quick look. Um, interaction pairs is an example of Newton's third law, which basically tells us that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. For today, we're really just interested in identifying interaction pairs because they can sometimes be a little bit tricky. What we'll do is we'll talk about the concept of interaction pairs and then we'll talk about how we construct them and then apply that to a few different examples and hopefully that will be clear enough um, to help deepen your understanding. Let's go for it then. First things first, just the idea of the interaction pair. Forces must always come in pairs. Okay, that's what Newton says to us in his third law is that um, you will never have a force on its own. If one force is happening, then an equal and opposite force is also happening at the same time. So these are called interaction pairs. And what we can do is we can write a general form for pairs. We'll assume that we've got two objects, A and B, and we'll also assume that um, they're doing one of two things, which are either pushing or pulling. So if it's the case that, for example, object A, written in bold here, and uh, pushes or pulls object B in one direction. That is one half of our interaction pair. Notice we've got two objects, A and B, a verb in red, and then a direction which is underlined. We take the example of the picture here. We've got two rugby teams. The blue team is pushing the white team to the right. Now there are many other forces involved in a uh, situations such as this in a scrum in rugby. However, what we want to do now is identify the interaction pair, i.e. we want to identify the other force, one of two, on um, in this system. To do that, what we need to do is reverse the objects. So object B is going to come at the front of the sentence. We need to keep the same verb because Newton tells us that the forces are of the same type, so two pushes, two pulls. But then we also need to change the direction. In other words, we rewrite the sentence by saying object B pushes or pulls object A in the opposite direction. Okay, so in this case, we had blue and white. So we're going to switch around white and blue. Pushes stays the same because it's the same type. And then the, the direction becomes opposite. In other words, the white team pushes the blue team to the left. We compare the sentences, blue, white, white, blue. Pushes is the same, direction is opposite. And that's our interaction pair. As I've said, there are many other forces here. However, this is the interaction pair. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. First one, we've got tug of war team. We've got a left team and the right team. Well, the left team pulls the right team to the left. That's the aim of the game. Well, the interaction pair here is that the right team pulls the left team to the right. Notice again, objects have switched, verb is the same, direction is opposite. Let's look at this man sitting on the chair as well. Okay, in this case we're thinking about the force between the chair and the man. The chair, which is object A, pushes the man, object B, up. Notice we're using the verb pushes here, so we're interested in uh, pushing forces. Okay. Well, the opposite of that is going to be the man pushes the chair down. This is something that we don't tend to think about, right? We tend to think of chairs as holding us up, balancing gravity. However, we don't think about the fact that we are also pushing the chair down. We can then think of the consequences of that for the chair. There must be a support force underneath the chair to balance out that force. However, that's a discussion for another day. I hope that's clear. Please let me know if there's any uh, further questions um, and then try and apply this to your physics tasks as in your lessons.